Hey guys, this is Archon. I'm here with Dreadnought. Hey. And we decided to do a video a little differently today. We're going to be recording our voices as we're playing, so it might be a little challenge. So we're probably going to suck. We're going to get caught in all the cages and stand in the fire, so... Yeah, we're revisiting the Diablo fight. We haven't tried it since 1.0.3. And we've changed up our builds a little bit, so we kind of just wanted to see how it would work with our new builds and the damage reduction that they gave to Inferno in 1.0.3. So the build I'm using now is this critical mass build. Uh, it's just focusing on getting lots of crits to get down your cooldown on Frost Nova. Uh, and I got my Nova off, yeah. What's nice about the stuns with Diablo is every time he's about to do one of his bigger attacks, if you stun him after he's already started the attack, then he'll just give up on that attack. So if he starts spawning cages and he gets one off, or he's about to get one off and you stun him, then he'll just move on to his next attack. So we just posted a video yesterday showing kind of the new build we've been using that's working pretty well. Uh, I have made a few changes since then. Cages. Someone... Oh, I got cage owned. Someone had posted a comment on my video from yesterday saying I should be using a shield and explosive blast instead of using Archon. Um, so I'm trying it out. I still really do like the Archon build. Um, it's nice being able to pop into damage mode every once in a while, and it seems like I can do a little bit more in Archon. What I've changed up for the most part is I am dual wielding now, and I'm using my Warcry instead of my my wrenching smash since my stun with a 10 second cooldown isn't nearly as awesome as Archon's stun that he's spamming all the time. So I might as well use that 30% extra damage, which I don't have up right now. Not paying attention. Is, I guess the if you're in Wrath of the Berserker, you are immune to cages. So last time I should have used that before I got caged, but I didn't. So I'm also using uh, Ignore Pain, which is nice when you don't have time to get out of one of his fire attacks, or you just don't want to avoid his fire attacks. You can just pop that. Yeah, it seems like it's going really well. We got him down almost to phase two already. Our first attempt on him took 16 minutes, and this looks like it's not going to. In do, you have, do you have Wrath up? Or uh, no. So in the Diablo fight, you can watch these cinematics to get your cooldowns to cool down a little bit, since they keep on ticking away while you're watching these. Yeah, uh, we're going to so focus fire the mage here. The mage, you'll see how his, uh, I say mage, the wizard has half the health of the, uh, oh, this is not quite, okay. Uh, this is our hardest fight, is uh, fighting our mini minis. Yeah, phase two is hard, because you get one more shade per member, but they also get the 110% damage bonus. Oh, oh wow, this is, this is, this oh, is a deadly did. combination right go here. Badly. We don't oh, I don't. <laughs> you didn't get attacked? I guess because you're both caged? I don't know why, but he did not go for me. I thought I was caged. But I guess I was not caged. Oh, that's nice. So we managed to escape it. Diamond skin and having a pot off the cooldown saved my ass. I'm going to save my wrath until the second time that he spawns the evil versions of ourselves. And if you have a lot of trouble with phase 2, you might want to make sure that you have wrath for all three of the the evil versions of yourself. Leap is a must, I think, for enough cages. Oh, I just keep getting caught by those cages. Not good. Leap is a, oh, okay. is a must for Barbarian on this fight because of the movability you get. You can move around a lot of fire and cages. But also with Iron Impact, when you have to tank him for a little bit, you have that 300% armor boost. It's just awesome to have that for a few sec key seconds. And then Ignore Pain is my Oh no emergency button when things are going wrong. And I use the 20% life back. Yeah, this is really hard for me because this, uh, this new strategy requires me to look at the action bar a lot. And I keep missing things that are happening. Especially those cages. But I think I'm getting the hang of it. Hopefully I won't get trapped in any more of this game. I'm using all three of my defensive passives. And even if you're pretty... Sorry, I didn't know the cages were going on. <laughs> I just said, <laughs> hopefully I don't get trapped. <laughs> I don't get trapped. <laughs> okay, am I trapping you in? Alright. 
If you uh, block Diablo's passing as the tank, you can actually keep them away from your DPS fairly well. Uh, Diablo can't just walk right through you and he has a little bit of trouble trying to walk around you. So usually I'll try and... But with Diablo, with uh, Archon's crazy resistance in armor right now, he's almost as good a tank as I am if he had the uh, more vitality. Yeah, this shield seems to be helping out a lot. I actually had to sacrifice a lot of vitality to get this crit here, so I'm down to, I think, 19,000. The shield I got doesn't have any vitality either. Uh, for this last evil version of ourselves, I'm not going to have Wrath. Okay. Oh. Nice freeze. So you see there he just got interrupted on his cages. He only got two off on himself. For this last group of evil versions of ourselves, I'm not going to have Wrath up. So instead, I'm going to make sure that I have my Ignore Pain on cooldown. I'm going to focus fire the mage. Well, I actually get the mage this time instead of getting one. Oh, good. Okay. Oh. I just got, I got evil Novid. I think I got evil Novi, and I got evil Meteor. Oh, that was an, that was a superstar wizard that we were up against. Okay. So leap, I just throw that in at key points when I want some more survivability. Right now is my oh no moment, so I'm popping my ignore pain. I really want to get that barbarian down, so we don't have to do a two v two. Okay, the cages. I finally avoided a cage. Oh, well, don't. There we go. <laughs> don't you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the war cry. Uh, I'm using impunity to increase all resistances by 50%. And it's really awesome when Arc, uh, Archon's in range of that so that he has pretty redonkulous resistances. So I take it back. It doesn't look like we're going to be killing them that much faster than our first attempt, but definitely a little bit easier. It makes it harder that we're. Well, it makes it harder when we're talking while we're playing, but it's a chill enough fight right now. It doesn't seem to be a real issue. And uh, Diablo, all of his moves, he broadcasts... Okay, here it is. He broadcasts, and you can get into the pattern of what he's doing a little bit. Oh, okay. And it's not a ridiculously difficult fight, but it, uh, it feels a little bit like an endurance fight. Man, that was dumb on my part. Um, usually at the, that's a good time to die though, because usually at the beginning of phase three you have enough time to res. True story. So, um, we're gonna let the cinematic play just so that we can, I didn't notice if my wrath was off cooldown, so just make sure that's off cooldown. Looks like you might have to kite him away and then leap back. Uh, I don't think so, I think I can just, oh, I don't remember him being this close. Usually in phase 3 I can res before he gets an attack off. Uh, hopefully it works then. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah, that was very nice. Yep. And then res me there. Alright, so I'm, I have wrath, so I'm just gonna pop it right away. Yeah, sometimes with this build it Cages. takes a little while to. <laughs> Get owned by cage. <laughs> to get into the rotation, uh, getting energy twister down quickly is important because that's where your crits come from, and you need those crits to get your cooldowns down, and that's where your survivability comes from. And if you have high enough resist, fast enough attack speed, yeah, okay. you're gonna do small circles around these. High enough resist, fast enough attack speed, some uh, life on hit. And as a barbarian, you can actually stand in most of these fire attacks. Yeah, most of his, uh, just like the fireball attacks, are pretty harmless, except for that one giant exploding. Cages. Room. Cages are definitely the hardest one to avoid, in my opinion. But I, that probably goes without saying. But yeah, it seems like this strat works pretty well for Diablo, uh, even though we've had difficulties. I think if we were to do it again, it'd be pretty easy. Yeah. The more Diablo can can do quite a bit of attacks in a row in this phase, but with all of these stuns going off, a lot of his boys get interrupted in the default, so it just says melee arm swing instead. And the less uh, fire attacks and cages and uh, he does, then the easier he is to fight. Yeah, oh, 
So phase three, pretty straightforward. It's kind of like phase one, except a little bit faster and uh, one extra move, I think. So yeah. She shoots out that pink fire rain that destroys me. Yeah, it's super death breath. Uh, it's actually a bit easier to avoid as melee, just because you can do a small circle around him instead of having to run the length of the screen. And I can uh, stand in it while I'm using my. Oh, well, yes, but, but I can stand in it if I pop my ignore paint. Looks like he's about to go down. Cages. Nice. Yes, this fight was, if you saw our last Diablo fight, we are a little bit more geared this time, but it was a lot easier with all those stuns because of critical mass that Archon was using. Yeah, we were able to keep attacking the whole time. Dreadnought was probably doing most of the damage this time. Yeah, I wasn't doing a ton of damage, but I was doing probably twice as much damage as I was last time because I got to use Battle Cry instead of my Stomp and uh, Dual Blow instead of Shield because of all of the critical mass uh, stuns that Archon was getting off. So yeah, you guys can watch this video on either of our channels. You can see it from each of our perspectives. Uh, we didn't get much loot because we didn't have Nephilim Valor, but... Let us know how you feel about the live commentary. If you think we suck at both commentary and gameplay while we're doing it, then, then I understand. Or if you think that there's some value to doing commentary live, let us know. Yeah, thanks for watching the video. Subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll have another video out soon. And send us your battle tags if you want to play with us. Oh, yes. Please be level 60, though. We don't. Or maybe level 50, we could do some leveling, but probably mostly level 60 with Spress. All right, thanks for watching, guys. See you.